Over the past few days, British Prime Minister Theresa May's government has been dealt a devastating series of defeats in their attempts to pass a flawed and highly unpopular Brexit deal, forcing Parliament to vote on a request to the European Union to delay withdrawal for another three months while they figure out some way to get themselves out of this disastrous quagmire. Ever the reliable friend and staunch ally, President Donald Deals Trump decided to kick the Tory Prime Minister while she was down and ribbing her for her one crucial mistake, failing to take his advice on the Brexit negotiations. I'm surprised at how badly it's all gone from the standpoint of a negotiation, said Trump in a statement that immediately made it clear he has no idea what's been happening with the Brexit negotiations and had only just learned what was happening moments ago or else he would not have been surprised. He then told the assembled reporters that things could have gone differently if she had just listened to his ideas about Brexit and asserted that actually he could have negotiated a much better deal if it was he was in charge of it. I gave the Prime Minister my ideas on how to negotiate it. She didn't listen to that and that's fine. She's got to do what she's got to do. I think it could have been negotiated in a different manner, frankly. I hate to see everything being ripped apart right now. Given that his latest deal making venture with the North Koreans consisted of him desperately fawning over Chairman Kim Jong un before returning home empty handed and his obvious ignorance of everything related to the Brexit negotiations, the United Kingdom is very lucky that Trump isn't their leader right now. Of course, Theresa May is as bad as any American Republican and has seemingly been doing everything she can to tank her own party's chances of escaping this mess without drastic economic, political, and social upheaval, so it's hard to feel too sorry for her.